thousands of seabirds here, including storm petrels. Hmm. Can't see where a storm petrel could safely nest, though. All I can see is rock, rock and more rock. Do you ever get the feeling you're being watched? It's a short-eared owl. They like to eat storm petrels. And it's definitely got its eye on something. Uh-oh. It's me. Time to get out of here. Run! I need to hide. Oh, I should be safe in here. The owl is too large to fit in this tunnel. Oh. Huh? What's this? It's an egg, if I'm not mistaken. Yes! It's a storm petrol egg. <laughs> and look, here comes the mum. Hello. <laughs> so this is where they lay their eggs. In tunnels in the rock. And that's why Mr Hammond couldn't find the nest. Hi, Jen. I found out where the storm petrels here on Galapagos are nesting. In underground tunnels in the rock. Look. Wow. It's the perfect place for them to keep their eggs safe. Away from the wind and from predators too. That's fantastic, Andy. Do you want me to let Mr Hammond know? Yes, please. And I've used the Safari Mobile solar panels to recharge its batteries. I'm sending it to your location now. Brilliant. Thanks, Jen. You're a star. <laughs> oh, no. That owl is still hanging around outside. How am I going to get out? Um... Wait a minute. The storm petrol came from that direction. Maybe there's another way out. Thanks for showing me where you lay your egg. See you later. <laughs> yes, I found a back door and the owl hasn't noticed, which means Mum can still get in and out safely to look after her egg. And I can get back to normal size. See you later, short here now. Excuse me, have any of you seen some baby alligators around here? I guess not. Hmm. I wonder where they're off to. Wow, there are thousands of pelicans on that island. Maybe there are some baby alligators too. Right, time to land. Um, well, I don't want to startle anyone. I know. Engaging shrink mode. alligator to find and record I think I'll head out onto the Mississippi all I need is my inflatable dinghy come on but I can't see any alligators around here whoa whoa what's going on I'm speeding up oh it's getting a bit choppy hold on there's more pelicans! And lots 
lots of fish too! This is turning into a feeding frenzy and I'm stuck in the middle! Help! Let me out! The pelican's large throat pouches and pointy beaks are perfect for snapping up fish. I just hope that one doesn't poke a hole in my... That's one way of getting down the Mississippi. <laughs> oh. Hello, Andy. I fixed Mr. Hammer's cassette player and put a blank tape in it. I'll take it back to the jungle den for you. Thanks, Jen. You truly are. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, is, is everything OK? Um, I'm fine, thanks, Jen. But it looks like I'm going to need my puncher repair kit. I hope this works. To the size of... To the size of a flamingo. Ah, that's better. Time to get wet. Ooh. Ah, there's plenty of flamingos here. And it's not too deep either which makes it the perfect place for me to do my painting. Easel. Canvas. Paintbrush and palette. And paint. Pink. So that's where it got to. Ah, ready. Oh, um, excuse me. Would you mind standing still for a second? They're performing a courtship dance. This is how flamingos find their perfect partner. Dances like these can go on all day long, so I'm just going to have to try and paint them as they pass. Finished. Hopefully Mr Hammond won't notice the difference. Right, I'll let this lot finish their dance while I pack this away. OK, now I need to get back to Safari World. Jen. Hi, Andy. Have you finished the painting? Yep, all done. Great. I'll send the Safari Mobile to pick you up. Thanks, Jen. I need to get back to normal size. Uh, uh, hurry up! Woo! That was close. See you later, flamingos. Time to head back! <laughs> something moving around over there in the water. Oh, it's OK. It's just a rat snake. A rat snake? Oh. I'd better get out of here. I'll just head between these two logs. Those aren't logs. They're alligators! Quick, row Andy! Oh, oh! Maybe I'll be safe on dry land. Oh, I can hide in there. Oh, I better put this away first. Quick! Phew! I 
made it. Oh, the alligator won't follow me in here. This burrow's too small. Oh, what's that? Oh, I can't go back that way. Let's just hope that whatever's down there can help me. Oh, I can definitely hear something. And it sounds like it's coming from in there. It's a star-nosed mole! Oh. You can see where it gets its name from. Look at that fantastic nose. Star-nosed moles have bad eyesight, so they use those funny-looking appendages to feel their way around instead. It's kind of like having an extra pair of hands on your face. Hmm. Where's he off to? Come on, let's follow him. It's another way out. <sighs> now I can carry on my search to find the wood ducks without an alligator in tow. See you later, Star Nose Mole. falling behind. Thanks, Mum. Come on, you lot. Now's your chance to catch up. Come on. That's it. Whew. Almost there. You're doing great. There we go. All safe. Well done, Mum. Oh, and speaking of mums, there are some others here too. Which means there must be... Yes! A nest! And with any luck, there'll be an eggshell there. Come on. Ah, this is perfect. Came and bury their eggs to keep them safe and warm. Then when they hatch, the babies make their way to the surface. Ha <laughs> oh, ha, like those guys. Think they must be calling for their mother. And here she comes. Right, I'd better get out of the way. <coughs> oh, don't mind me. I wonder what she's up to. Oh, I see. She's very gently picking up the baby in her mouth. It might look scary, but actually, she's been really careful with them. Oh, she's taking them down to the lake. Ah, oh, they'll be nice and safe there. Hang on. Yes, it's an empty eggshell. Exactly what I need. That's Jen calling. Andy, have you found a new eggshell yet? Yes, Jen. I'm standing right next to one. That's great news, but you better hurry back to Safari World. Mr. Hammond is on his way to the jungle den. OK, Jen, I'm on my way. But first... Back! to normal size. Oh. Oh. Mustn't forget this. <laughs> See you later, Cayman. Oh. Oh. What a ride. <sighs> oh. Wow. There's a great view from up here. Hang on. Flamingos! Yes! Now I just need to paint them. It took me all day to get down there when I'm this size. I just hope my gizmo's working. Back to normal size. Yes! Oh, 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 oh. 
no, 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 no! I'm enormous! Wait a minute. At this size, I'll be able to walk to the lake in no time at all. Great! All right, steady as I go. Great! That was quick. It's Jen. Hi, Andy. Have you found the flamingos yet? Yes. I'm having a few problems with my gizmo, though. Mm. Let me try turning it off and on again. And so go on Andy's a practical adventure.